Hey guys, and welcome to City Geek. Tulsa, Oklahoma is an incredibly underrated city. As home to one of the best art scenes in the country and a new world-class urban park, Tulsa has certainly exceeded my expectations. In this series, I touch on a city's history, population, skyline, as well as a few things that make it unique. Now, let's meet Tulsa. I always like to start by exploring how a city wound up being where it is today. Tulsa's history is unique in that the city itself was actually settled by Native American tribes. In 1836, the Creek and Lochapoca tribes established a settlement on the Arkansas River and named it Tulassie, which later evolved into Tulsa. In the early 20th century, the discovery of oil south of the city led to a huge population boom. Unlike other cities in Oklahoma, where people had moved there from the south and Texas, most of the people moving to Tulsa during this time were from the east coast, which gives the city a unique population and culture in relation to other cities in Oklahoma and Texas. Today, Tulsa has a population of just over 400,000, which makes it the 48th largest city in the country and the second largest in Oklahoma behind Oklahoma City. Those familiar with this channel know that I think a city's population can be at times misleading, so I'm always sure to look at what the metro population is. Tulsa has a metro population of just over 1 million people, which makes it the 54th largest metro area in the country, which is pretty close to being in line with its city proper population. The city was once considered the oil capital of the world, but the economy of the city has become more diversified in recent years to include industries such as finance, tech, manufacturing, and aerospace. The city is also home to 15 institutions of higher education, including the University of Tulsa and Oral Roberts. Call me shallow, but when it comes to cities, I think appearances matter, which is why evaluating a city's skyline is usually my favorite part of making these videos. On paper, Tulsa has an impressive skyline. If you took the average height of its tallest five buildings, you would get a height of 551 feet, which makes it the 23rd largest skyline in the country behind St. Louis and ahead of Columbus, Ohio and Tulsa's in-state rival city, Oklahoma City. In reality, however, the skyline doesn't appear as good as it sounds because the second tallest building within the city limits, the Cityplex Central Tower, is about eight miles away from downtown. It doesn't contribute to the actual look of the skyline, which is too bad because I think it's the best looking skyscraper in the city. The tallest building in Tulsa is the BOK Tower at 667 feet. It was designed by the same architect who designed the Twin Towers in New York City. Some people have joked that the architect simply halved the plans for the Twin Towers to design the BOK Tower because they look so similar. Tulsa is home to one of the most incredible parks I'm aware of. The Gathering Place is a huge 66-acre park along the Arkansas River near downtown. It was created by the George Kaiser Family Foundation and at a cost of $465 million is the largest private gift to a community park in the country's history. It truly is a world-class park and includes free activities for all ages. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that Tulsa is distinct from other cities in the region because most of its population came from East Coast cities as opposed to coming from the South. An example of how that difference manifests itself is the Art Deco architecture throughout the city. If you aren't familiar, Art Deco is a decorative style of architecture popular in major cities during the 1920s and 30s. Tulsa is surprisingly considered to be one of the best cities in the country to see Art Deco architecture. One example of this in Tulsa is the Boston Avenue United Methodist Church, which is one of the world's few Art Deco buildings designed by a woman. The city also has an Art Deco museum. Another interesting museum in the city is the Gilcrease Museum. The Gilcrease Museum houses the world's largest collection of arts and artifacts from the American West. It really is amazing and surprising to me how vibrant of an art scene Tulsa has. One more example of this would be the Philbrook Museum of Art, which is located in the old home of the oil pioneer Waite Phillips. The museum includes formal gardens and nine collections of art from around the world. One of the most iconic landmarks of Tulsa is the Golden Driller Statue. The 75-foot tall statue of an oil driller is the fourth tallest statue in the country. Well, that wraps up my video about Tulsa. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and check out some of my other videos about cities. Thanks for watching.